Lucas, Luke 22. Approaching now to the feast of the Pikach week, which is said to be the Pikach, and the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then entered Satan into Yauda, surnamed Iskirot, being of the number of the twelve. And he went his way and communed with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him unto them. And they were glad and covenanted to give him money. And he promised and sought opportunity to betray him unto them in the absence of the multitude. And at the beginning of the daylight hours of the Pikach week, when the Pikach must be killed, he sent Kepha and Yahuchanan, saying, Go and prepare us the rather at the Pikach, that we may eat. And they said unto him, Where will you that we prepare? And he said unto them, Behold, when ye are entered into the city, there shall a man meet you, bearing a pitcher of water. Follow him into the house where he enters in. And ye shall say unto the good man of the house, The rabbi says unto you, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat? at the Pikach with my Talmudim. And he shall show you a large upper room furnished. There make ready. And they went and found as he had said unto them. And they made ready the Pikach. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat at this Pikach with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of Yahweh. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of Yahweh shall come. And he took at the bread, and gave thanks, and broke it, and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the renewed covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrays me is with me on the table. And truly the son of Adam goes as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves, which of them it was that should do this thing. And there was also a strife among them. Which of them should be accounted the greatest? And he said unto them, The kings of the other nations exercise lordship over them. And they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. But ye shall not be so. But he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger, and he that is chief as he that serves. For whether is greater, he that sits to eat, or he that serves, is not he that sits to eat, but I am among you as he that serves. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, and I appoint unto you a kingdom, and as my Father has appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Yashadael. And Adonai said, Shimon, Shimon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, but he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for you, that your belief fail not. And when you are turned back, strengthen your brethren. And he said unto him, Adonai, I am ready to go with you, both into prison and to death. And he said, I tell you, Kepha, the cock shall not crow this day, before that you shall thrice deny that you know me. And he said unto them, when I sent you without purse and script, rather scrip and shoes, 
lacked ye anything? And they said, Nothing. Then said he unto them, But now he that has a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip. And he that has no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. For I say unto you, that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me. And he was reckoned among the transgressors, rather, and he was reckoned among the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. And they said, Adonai, behold, here are two swords. And he said unto them, It is enough. And he came out and went, as he was wont, to the Mount of Olives, and his Talmudim also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast, and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if you be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared an angel unto him from heaven, strengthening him. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. And when he rose up from prayer and was come to his Talmudim, he found them sleeping for sorrow, and said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And while he yet spoke, behold, a multitude, and he that was called Yahuda, one of the twelve, went before them, and drew near unto Yahusha to kiss him. But Yahusha said unto him, Yahuda, betray you the son of Adam with a kiss. When they which were about him saw what would follow Eth, they said unto him, Adonai, shall we smite with the sword? And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Yahusha answered and said, Suffer ye thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Yahusha said unto the chief priests and captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves, when I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Then took they him and led him and brought him into the high priest's house, and Kepha followed afar off. And when they had kindled the fire in the midst of the hall and were set down together, Kepha sat down among them. But a certain maid beheld him as he sat by the fire and earnestly looked upon him and said, This man was also with him. And he denied him, saying, Woman, I know him not. And after a little while another saw him and said, You are also one of them. Rather, you are also of them. And Kepha said, Man, I am not. And about the space of one hour after another confidently affirmed, saying, Of a truth, this fellow also was with him, for he is a Galilee. And Kepha said, Man, I know not what you say. And immediately, while he yet spoke, the cock crew. And Adonai turned and looked upon Kepha. And Kepha remembered the word of Adonai, how he had said unto him, Before the cock crow, you shall deny me thrice. And Kepha went out and wept bitterly. And the men that held Yahusha mocked him and smote him. And when they had blindfolded him, they struck him on the face and asked him, saying, Prophesy, who is it that smote you? And many other things blasphemously spoke they against him. And as soon as it was day, the elders of the people and the chief priests and the scribes came together and led him into their council, saying, Are you Hamashiach? Tell us. And he said unto them, 
If I tell you, ye will not believe. And if I also ask you, ye will not answer me, nor let me go. Hereafter shall the son of Adam sit on the right hand of the power of Yahuwah. Then said they all, Are you then the son of Elohim? And he said unto them, Ye say that I am. And they said, What need we any further witness? For we ourselves have heard of his own mouth. <laughs>